Oh, coffee is so good. This is my fuel, you guys. Yes. Hi everyone and welcome back to my art channel. So we are continuing to work on my schoolgirl doll and in the last video we finally gave her a brand new face. If you want to see that video, its link is going to be in the descriptions down below. Um, <sighs> in my very first video where I did the unboxing of the dolls, I've mentioned that I've actually did try doing a doll repaint once a while back and they didn't turn out so well. There's like a ton, a ton of artists who love working with dolls and they primarily choose to do plastic dolls or vinyl dolls, Monster High dolls, Barbie dolls, um, the list goes on. But there aren't very many artists who are interested in customizing porcelain dolls. Porcelain dolls are really not very popular nowadays anymore. I mean, you can't just find them on the regular market. You can find them sitting on the shelves in your regular retail stores like Toys R Us or, you know, even Target or Walmart. If you want a brand new porcelain doll, you basically have to order them online. However, there's a ton of them in Goodwill stores and secondhand shop stores. There's like a ton of used ones, there are some even brand new ones. And yeah, I understand that it would be difficult to fit an old porcelain doll into somebody's modern home decor. With me having actually worked with clay, I, I have a very soft spot for anything that is um, basically China. And I have a very soft spot for vintage things too. <laughs> I've really railed off the point here. Where was I going with this? Ah, oh, yes. Every time I would see these beautiful old-fashioned dolls sitting on the dirty shelves in the Goodwill stores, um, always get me wondering, why don't people try to customize them or restore them, you know, or do something with them? They are beautiful, beautiful things. I actually went online and I did a little bit of a research and I found out it's not because people don't like porcelain dolls, it's because they are kind of intimidating, turns out. And I can see where they're coming from. There's so much you can do with the regular plastic dolls, like with the Barbie dolls or Monster High dolls. They come with articulate joints, you can position them in however you like. They are extremely cheap and available literally everywhere. So, you know, you can mess with them however you want. Whereas working with porcelain dolls, it's a very limited... I mean, there's, there's just not a lot you can do with porcelain dolls. And people don't work with them simply because they don't really know what to do with them. And that's that's understandable, that's totally justifiable. But, I don't know, for some odd reason, that is exactly why I am so drawn to porcelain dolls. Others may see limits, I see a challenge. And I also love the whole fact that it's actually made out of porcelain. And the result of me painting a uh, porcelain doll was a lot more successful than um, when I tried painting a, you know, plastic dolls. <laughs> So yeah, I, I enjoyed the process. I really, really enjoyed working with this porcelain doll. Anyway, all I wanted to say is that today we're actually going to be making a wig for this doll. <laughs> so yeah, and truth be told, this is actually not my first time making a wig for a doll. I've, I've actually done them before. I'm still not a pro by a long shot at making them, but they're still not as scary as they may seem. Um, it's it's fairly easy to make a, a wig for a doll, so um, I hope you learned something from me today. <laughs> Let's get started! Alright, now that I am satisfied with her face, I am going to make a wig for her. And I'm going to use this human hair extensions that I had lying around from this other project. I got it for a long, long time ago. But before that, I have to plug up her hole. And I'm going to do that using foam because 
Originally she had a little piece of foam here. Since this foam is too brittle, I'm going to try this one instead. And now it's time to start making the wig. But first, I want to protect her face by covering it with a piece of paper towel. To make a wig, you first have to create a base to which you're going to attach the hair. Using a piece of saran wrap, I pull it tight over her head and secure it at her neck with some rubber bands. I double up on the saran wrap just for some extra protection. And to make the base of the cap, I'm going to use this old pantyhose. But don't worry, it's been washed. Why pantyhose? is because it's very stretchy and it will take on the shape of the head much more smoothly than any other fabric. I cut my piece of pantyhose in two. Then with the help of a needle and a thread, I pull the first piece over her head as tightly as it can go without tearing and also secure it up the neck. When I think that looks decent enough, I proceed to apply tacky glue. My tacky glue turned out to be a little too thick, so I mix it with a couple of drops of water. Then I just simply brush on a very decent amount of glue over the cap. I need a bigger brush for this. I let it dry for a little bit, then I add another layer of fabric for a better structure and apply some more tacky glue. Alright, that looks good. And now it's time to let it dry overnight. While our cap is drying, I'm going to start working on the hair. The extensions are actually doubled here, so I'm going to separate them to make them thinner and easier to apply. Also, that will give me more hair to work with. This is gonna take a while. Two thousand years later. That literally took forever, but now I have plenty of hair to work with. All right, so my wig cap has been drying for about 24 hours and it looks nice and stiff. So let's take it up and see what it looks like. I'm just going to trim this excess fabric. Saran wrap out of it. Alright. It feels so 
delicate. Just look how delicate it actually looks. I'm gonna trim the sides. All this excess stuff. Now I'm going to put it on the doll's head to see how it fits. Oh yeah. It fits. <laughs> looks like a swimming cap. Actually, it looks like a bald cap. All I need to do now is to trim my hairline to make it look all nice. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with my cap and now I'm going to attach the hair to it. The hot glue actually didn't work, probably because this is real hair extensions and they have been treated by some hair preserving chemicals. So I've decided to just simply stitch the hair to the cap. Also, in case you've been wondering if I got myself a new mat, no. No, I did not. I just simply flipped it over. And now watch me ruin this side too, or as I might try. <laughs> So that's the wig for my doll. I think it looks pretty good. That's what it looks like on the inside. Nice and sewn. And it fits the doll perfectly. I already tried it. It, it looks very big. It looks like there's way too much hair, but there really isn't actually. Um, it's just because the hair is wavy, um, so it's, it's, it's fluffed up. That's why it looks so gigantic. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to style it a bit right now and see if I can um, tame all this fluff at least. Uh, a little bit. As I've already mentioned, this is real hair. So that's why I'm able to use my heat brush and my flat iron on it. But don't try to do this to a fake doll hair because unless it's a very very low heat setting, it will actually melt and ruin the hair. Alright, so that looks good for now. Um, I'll do some more styling when I completely put her together with the outfit and everything. Um, you know what, guys? The more I keep looking at her eyes, the more I am dissatisfied with them. I really want to try remaking them. I mean, they're not bad, but I feel like I could have done better. So... I bought this resin. I've never worked with resin before, so this is going to be completely experimental for me. I am going to try to make new eyes for her, and if they turned out looking okay, um, I will try to actually do something to take these eyes out. I will try using heat and maybe even um, acid on, on the glue that's keeping these eyes attached to her face from the inside. I will try to get them out very carefully without uh, destroying her. 
and replace them. However, if I do fail making resin eyes for her, then I'll just keep them as is. I'll apply eyelashes and some high gloss varnish on her eyes and lips and hopefully that will, you know, enhance the look and um, make me more satisfied. So, yeah, I'm going to try that. But that's gonna have to be in our next video because I have a feeling that it's going to take the inexperienced me a whole good while to get that done. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see how my eyes making experiment will go, then subscribe to my channel and I'll try to post it as soon as I can. In any case, I wish everyone a wonderful day and um, see you all in my next video. Bye! You guys, check out this adorable little guy. Isn't he cute? If you'd like to learn how to make these, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a separate video about it.